Hello, myself Ajneesh Kumar Gupta, lecturer of Organic Chemistry, Resonance Adventure Private Limited. I have made a capsule piece of Organic Chemistry. In this particular capsule piece, I have given all the general organic reactions. These organic reactions are divided into four parts. That is addition, substitution, elimination and rearrangement. If we carefully analyze the substitution reactions, in this particular substitution reaction A sigma bond B is treated with C, it will give A sigma bond C and B is removed. In addition reaction A double bond B or A triple bond B is treated with A single bond C, C single bond C it will give corresponding A single bond B, C and D. That is multiple bonds are broken and corresponding sigma bonds are added to this particular part. In elimination reaction, some molecules are removed. If the removal is from 1 and 1 position, it is called as alpha. If the room removal is from 1 and 2 position, it is called as beta. And if removal is from 1 and 3 position, it is called as gamma. In rearrangement reaction, that is A, sigma bond B, sigma bond C undergoes any reaction to give A, sigma bond C, sigma bond D. That is, if attachment of atoms are changed, then such reactions are called as rearrangement reactions. On the basis of attacking species, this addition reaction is further divided into electrophilic addition, nucleophilic addition and free radical addition. In case of electrophilic addition reactions, electrophiles attack first, which are generally observed in case of alkene alkynes. In nucleophilic reactions, are nucleophile attacks first, which are observed in case of aldehydes and ketones. And free radical reactions are observed in case of alkenes when treated with HBr and presence of peroxide. Free radical substitutions are observed in case of alkenes. And electrophilic substitution reactions are observed in case of aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds, so electrophilic substitution and many name reactions are involved in this particular category. That is halogenation, nitration, sulfonation, alkylation, acylation, protonation, nitrosucin, diutization, rimatimin, Kolbe, Ketraman, Hosch, chloromethylation. If we carefully analyze, all these reactions are under the category of electrophilic substitution. Nucleophilic substitutions are mainly divided into SN1, SN2, SNI, SNAR and SNTH. In case of SN1 and SN2 reactions, substrate are alkyl halides, alcohols and ethers. While in case of SNI reactions, alcohols are treated with SOCl2 that is thymyl chloride. It, give, it will give alkyl chloride as a product and a sulfur dioxide gas is removed. In this particular SNAR, when aromatic compounds, that is aromatic halides, aryl halides, with strong electron withdrawing group at ortho or para position when treated with nucleophile, it will give substitution product. Such substitution is called as nucleophilic substitution aromatic, which proceeds via the formation of carbon and acid intermediates. And in SNAR, SNTH, Acid halide and hydride ester or amides when treated with nucleophile it first form tetrahedral intermediates which later give substitution products. In elimination, if two atoms are removed from same position it is called as alpha. I have told you the best example of alpha elimination is the reaction of chloroform with base to form carbenes or reaction of diazomethane on temperature to give carbene as an intermediate. An example of gamma elimination is simply when a strong electron withdrawing group is present such as PHSO2 and third position is attached with some leaping group such as BR to give the substitution product. In all these cases, three membered rings are formed. The best example of elimination reactions are the beta elimination which is most common one. Beta eliminations are divided into following parts that is E1, E2, E2 Hoffman and E1 CB. E1 and E2 reactions proceeds with the formation of stable product while Hoffman elimination depends upon the acidity of the beta hydrogen while E1 CB reactions proceeds 
with the presence of strong electron withdrawing group and poor leaving groups. In case of rearrangement, they may be carbocationic, carbonionic or free radicals. Carbocationic rearrangement is very much common and many name reactions are involved in this particular category. They are pinacol, pinacolone, dynone, dinophile, Friedel-Craft, etc. Carbonions and free radical rearrangement reactions are less common in case of aromatic compounds. So this particular capsule piece will give you a clear cut picture of all organic reactions. I have added many important points and nearly all important points of organic reactions. This important points is very much important and in this particular example only or points only nearly all questions are asked in various computations. So it is a simply a capsule piece for the revision of complete organic reactions. And the last I have added my rules that is as an issue rule. Doing any organic reaction if an intermediate is formed in rate determining step then stability of intermediate will decide the formation of major product. Greater is the stability of intermediate, major is the corresponding product and stability of intermediate is generally decided by resonance, hyperconjugation and ductility. In organic chemistry, I have added a capsule or thoughts which is very much applicable that is studying 10 books on the same topic cannot grasp the whole matter in your mind but studying one book 10 times can grasp the whole matter in your mind. So revise this particular point to get more benefit or remove your doubts from organic chemistry. This capsule piece is available on my site that is www.organicchemistry.co.in So you, to, you go to that particular site to obtain this capsule piece and improve your organic. Thanks.